Hi students, welcome to English class. Today we are going to do the grammar topic, uh, which is quite common, uh, you might be familiar with it. Uh, today we will discuss different kinds of noun. Now, to start with, if you look at these pictures, uh, like this is the picture of car, this is the picture of dog, this is uh, uh, the name of the person, Richard, this is picture of London, this is uh, the picture of the month of January. This is the picture of team, this is picture of choir, this is a picture of army, uh, schoolboy, this is orange juice, this is cheesecake, and uh, this is building, this is beach, bridge, time, friendship, love, uh, apples, house, books, honey, water, and coffee. So if you look at all these pictures, all these are nouns. These are the names of things, these are the names of uh, people, these are the names of uh, uh, collective things, uh, these are the names of fruits, uh, places, okay? So, when we talk about noun, uh, noun is a name of a person, thing, place, animal or an idea, okay? Now, if you look uh, at the first picture and the first definition, it says uh, common noun okay these are the different kinds of noun common proper collective uh, compound concrete abstract countable and uncountable noun so we'll see how uh, we can define them now, common noun as the name itself suggests common noun is a noun that refers to people or things in general they are not the names of uh, specific or particular things like car, any car, dog, any dog, table, any table, a tissue paper, pen, pencil. So these are the names of uh, common things. Proper noun, as the name itself suggests, a proper noun is a, a the name that identifies a particular person, place or things. In written English, proper nouns uh, begin with a capital letter. How can you differentiate common nouns from proper, no proper nouns? Common nouns, you don't capitalize them until or unless you start a sentence with the common noun. But proper noun, wherever you are writing the proper noun, you, you'll always write it with a capital letter. For example, name of a person, uh, name of uh, cities, countries, names of the months, uh, names of uh, days of the week, names of the newspapers, names of the rivers, names of the holy books, names of the newspapers, all these are proper nouns, so we'll always capitalize them. As you can see in this picture also, Richard, R is capital, London L is capital, January, J is capital. Next is collective noun. Collective, collection of things. Okay, so collective noun, it refers to group of people or things see uh, a team of worker a team of workers a choir of singers an army of uh, soldiers a library of books a swarm of bees a shoal of fish all these are the examples of uh, collective noun next we have compound noun compound noun it refers to two or more nouns compound to form a single noun example look at this one school and boy when you combine these two nouns you get another noun that is a compound noun school boy next you have orange and juice when you combine both orange and juice you get a new noun that is a compound noun orange juice cheese and cake when you combine cheese and cake both you get another noun that is cheesecake so what is a compound noun a, a compound noun is made up of two nouns okay when two nouns are joined together to make a new word it is known as a compound noun okay next we have concrete noun concrete concrete noun is a noun which refers to people and things that exist physically and can be seen touched smell heard or tasted now for example building you can see it you can touch it uh, and you you can see it from the distance Okay, so uh, th things which have physical appearance and you can see them or feel them with your four senses, th that is known as a concrete noun. Okay, beach. Okay, beach also, it has physical appearance. Bridge also, it has physical appearance. So, concrete noun is a noun which refers to people and things that exist physically and they can be seen, touched, smelled, heard or uh, tasted. Next, we have abstract noun. An abstract noun is... Um, 
usually students they have difficulty in understanding or uh, guessing the abstract noun now abstract noun is a noun that refers to ideas uh, qualities and condition things that cannot be seen or touched and things that have no physical reality for example time uh, time you uh, time is an abstract noun time has passed time is coming time is short so you you can't clock definitely you can see you can tell the time from there but when you are generally talking about uh, time is money you you can't see the time at that time okay friendship a friendship is a quality you you cannot see it love yes love is an emotion that you can't see so this is an abstract noun then there are many other examples of abstract noun for example um, wealth okay then you have health health you can't see it it is an emotion an idea okay so all the ideas qualities uh, which cannot be uh, seen with uh, wide eyes open eyes they are known as the abstract noun next we have countable nouns as the name itself suggests they can be uh, counted they have a singular and plural form uh, these nouns can be uh, used with a the number they can be counted one apple and five apples one house five houses one book and uh, 10 books things which can be counted okay they are known as countable nouns uncountable nouns uh, can only be used in singular they can't be counted for example see you cannot say uh, honeys you can say i have a bottle of uh, honey i can i have a glass of water but you cannot say there are many waters in the jug it's wrong there are many coffees in the uh, uh, in the table okay so th there there are um, too much money that this is all wrong okay money is kept in the shelf okay um, uh, water is in the glass or in the jug coffee is um, hot okay you cannot say coffee or water or, or juice are so these are uncountable and uncountable nouns uh, can be can only be used in singular form here I have another uh, slide, okay, common noun, proper, collective, abstract and material already we have discussed. This is just for your reference. Now, if you look at these examples, Andrew, Andrew went to school to receive his gold medal from the principal. Now, if you look at uh, this uh, first example, you find many nouns in this one, okay. Now, see, uh, Andrew. So, Andrew is a proper noun, went to school school is a common noun to receive his gold medal a gold medal collectively it's a proper noun and gold if you take it uh, separately it is material noun and the principal if you underline the principal principal is a proper noun next example if you look at this one see smith entered the garden to look for a bee's hive and was stung by a swarm of bees smith is an example of proper noun garden common noun to look for bees hive bee again a bees uh, plural noun okay hive noun again common noun stung by a swarm of bees now see swarm is a collective noun swarm of bees swarm refers to collective noun collection of bees okay if you look at this one third example so here you have an army of soldiers besieged the city to avoid the threats of coronavirus. Coronavirus is talk of the town, so I have added up in my example as well. Okay, an army of soldiers. Now see, army of soldiers. An army of soldiers, it is an example of uh, collective noun. City, common noun. Avoid the threats. Threats, see, this is abstract noun. Then coronavirus is again a proper noun, name of particular virus. Okay. Next, we have his bravery is talk of the town, but his honesty wins the heart. Now, see, bravery. Bravery is a noun. Town is a noun. And honesty is a noun. Now, bravery is an abstract noun. Town is common noun. Honesty is, again, an abstract noun. Okay. And heart is countable noun, common noun as well. Okay. They left the gold in order to purchase diamonds, but to their surprise, were given in iron bars. They left the gold now gold material noun in order to purchase diamonds and other material but to their surprise were given they were given to their surprise they were given they is omitted over here as it is understood they were given iron bars iron uh, another example of material noun and see bars common noun so hopefully you understand uh, the difference between uh, 
um, different kinds of nouns. Thank you.